Hello and welcome to Daily Tech Video. In this episode, we are going to see the unboxing of LG 27 UL850. In some countries, it could be 850W model. And then I like to share some of my initial impressions and things you should remember if you are planning to get this monitor. Also, whether this monitor is worth for you know under $500 category price category. And if you are looking for a USB-C monitor and with the 4K feature uh, to make it as a secondary display for your your MacBook Air, MacBook Pro or iMac 5K Retina model which I am currently using and if you are getting a Mac Mini it could be your primary monitor. So that's what we are going to see right now and the decision is totally up to uh, you. After seeing this video you can decide whether this is worth for the $500 uh, budget price point or not. All right without any delay let's dive into the unboxing. The big brown box came uh, from Amazon and I have opened it and inside the black color box which perfectly packed the monitor inside and after taking it it out uh, it took me like a couple of minutes to figure out like which particular area I need to open it first so being a monitor I figured out like the center position is the one I need to lay it down on the floor and then opened it and in the front I was able to see all the cables are you know cleanly packed with the polythene sheets right now I'm upgrading my 2k monitor which is Asus PB278Q model I got it almost like six plus years before so it was a 2k monitor and I thought to upgrade it to 4k monitor as I'm using the latest I iMac 5k retina model. One thing I noticed is like uh, when I got that monitor uh, I didn't get enough cable support like uh, the box pack contains the monitor and just one or two cables along with the power cable just one additional cable was there which was a default display port cable I believe. But recent days like majority of the monitor manufacturing companies are including multiple cables which is really handy like we don't need to buy separate cables cables you know after getting the monitor knowing as a surprise that the cable that we need actually with the USB-C or Thunderbolt port or with the display port HDMI cables are not readily available uh, within the box itself. So LG included almost two different types of cables in the box along with the power adapter and the power cable and then the monitor stand was there as a two part so it is pretty easy to assemble anyone can assemble. Let's keep these things in its place and let's see how the monitor actually looks like. So being in transit I was very afraid I had a worst experience that the first monitor I ordered you know came with some cracks on the edges so I was very afraid about it so after opening the package you know under that I can see the monitor is again uh, wrapped in a polythene sheet and below that the display area is given additional cushion support to prevent any further damage the whole package is covered with a strong and sturdy thermocools so that you know in transit it won't be affected by any means first assemble the stand so that we can you know put the monitor in its place. So the stand comes in two part the one arc stand that sits on the desk as a bottom and then uh, the stand the arm stand which actually holds the monitor and connects the stand together. All you need to do is just simply uh, you know tighten the screw that that is given in the uh, bottom of that particular arc stand and you are done. So keep the stand in its place and then when you lift up the monitor and position it correctly to you know hear the clip sound uh, when it you know perfectly aligns in its place. So the visa mount is also comparable uh, with you know the 10 by 10 uh, portion of visa mount is also comparable with uh, mount arm stands uh, that you if you're planning to go for your desk setup or if you're planning to uh, wall mount it uh, with your computer desk. You know it is kind of a 27 inch monitor and I personally would recommend a 32 inch variant of the same model if you're planning to go for a wall mount uh, because the distance between you and the computer is very important. So when you keep it a little bit far away then the 32 inch monitor will be perfect fit for most of the Mac mini setup. So if you're not going for um, you know a Mac mini and the 27 inch is pretty sufficient for you to use it with your MacBook Air, MacBook Pro or iMac 27 inch models then this will definitely do the magic. And take the power brick and the cable you know the power cable from the box and then the USB-C to USB-C cable is also readily available. You can connect one end of the cable uh, with your iMac and the other end with the monitor at the back side. 
And let's talk about the available ports. So after connecting with the USB-C, it has only one USB-C port and I wish it could be two ports, but for the price point, it's kind of okay. Additionally, you will get two HDMI ports, one display port, and then you will have uh, in the right side of the same section, you will have two USB 3 ports. If you are planning to use any pen drives to watch movies, you know, without turning on the computer, then these pen drives will definitely be very useful. And below that, you will be seeing the audio, uh, optical audio uh, port and then the power port where you can insert the power cable to power up the monitor. And when I turned on the monitor for the first time, I was shocked. I was not impressed at all. The quality of the picture I saw was really, you know, horrible. Like uh, I tried playing some videos. I even opened the Safari browser in and the Chrome browser in light mode and the white isn't pure white. Like it was kind of... Uh, yellowish or you know when I try to adjust the monitor brightness settings and contrast settings it turned to blue so it was kind of frustrating for me because uh, the first monitor I had which was the ASUS PB278Q um, you know almost six years before like it was out of the box it was working very good uh, I had to just adjust the brightness a little bit and some contrast tuning and uh, it was working pretty fine uh, you know out of the box and uh, when we plan to buy a television or a monitor from a branded uh, companies like Sony, we will immediately, you know, see the factory calibration itself works perfectly for our, uh, um, you know, the television connection or for any internet content that is being played. So that's what I was expecting and being a HDR monitor, I, I had kind of my hopes high, really high. Uh, and after connecting this monitor, I was really shocked and I was kind of feeling like, uh, did I waste my 40,000 rupees almost? It comes around like uh, $550 in India for me. And if you're planning to buy this monitor in USA and it comes around like $450. So this monitor, after my initial impression, which was very bad, uh, I tried to calibrate it a little bit and I figured out there are two important things you need to do. Number one, you need to turn off that H HDR feature from your Mac system preferences display settings. So after going to system preferences display under that area you will see the toggle HDR you know checked on that particular box. You need to remove uncheck that box and uh, then you will see that the Mac display color profile is kind of taking uh, effect on the uh, LG 27UL850 monitor. That was kind of a big relief like after that I was able to see the pictures were sharp and the 4K display which is actually reduced to be in a normal display for 2K resolution looks almost close and very uh, you know close to perfect uh, like the 5k retina iMac display so I was kind of relieved and then I tried to do some brightness adjustments and then the uh, sharpness and contrast a little bit and I was able to get that warm temperature you know the warm temperature look uh, that I normally experience with my iMac 5k retina model so then I figured out like the blacks are not exactly true black there are one more thing that you need to understand if you're seeing too much white on the display even on black colors just like the uh, video that I'm showing you right now there was a, a tube light behind my head so the light reflection was straight on the IPS display and that made it look like all the black color go like a matte finish color and it is an IPS panel but still you know I was expecting some true black and true white experience and the light was a real killer. So after turning off the light, you could see uh, that after turning off the HDR as well, the monitor was perfectly uh, looking cool. The colors are not overexposed and not oversaturated. I was able to enjoy the 4K content that is being played from YouTube without any uh, you know, compromise to the quality. So these are the important things that I thought to mention. Uh, you know, if you are planning to get this monitor and whether you should consider this monitor or not, I personally find that for Mac Mini, iMac or MacBook Air and MacBook Pro, this monitor is definitely worth for its price. Under $450, under $500 budget price point, this is definitely the best USB-C monitor that is right now available from LG. And being an LG ultra fine display, you know, the higher version, the next version uh, comes around like uh, $1,000, I believe, in USA. And in India, it comes around uh, 1,20,000 rupees right now. Um, so I thought like it is kind of a mid variant or the basic version of uh, the LG ultra fine uh, series and uh, uh, with the 400 nits brightness on its peak uh, brightness setup 
I personally believe that this is kind of adequate for a desk setup uh, for people who do video editing, uh, photo editing, along with the software calibration that the monitor offers that you can do uh, with the color sync utility. You can also do some color calibration with your Mac display system preferences option. And along with that, it is also compatible with hardware calibration. So you can use a calibration tool like Spider uh, in order to you know calibrate the way you want to make the colors look perfect for your work environment. So in overall, you know, I would rate this monitor as, you know, out of 10, I would definitely give eight points and definitely worth for its price. And I'm really happy uh, after, you know, the first uh, bad impression. I'm really happy right now after uh, almost using it for three plus days. And I'm pretty confident that this monitor will serve my requirements for another uh, five years at least. I'll leave the purchase links to this exact monitor model because there are several variants and different models with the similar specs without USB-C and with USB-C and uh, some other slight feature adjustments also. So exact monitor links are available in the description of this video. Do consider using the links. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions about this monitor, feel free to ask them in the comments uh, box. I will be happy to answer them. Thank you very much for your patience and have a wonderful day.